Hey, yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to talk about the staggering Black Myth Wukong sales numbers. This game is just absolutely enormous. But right off the top, if you have yet to pick up the game, a lot of the e-tailers that have been selling Black, uh, Black Myth Wukong have been going out of stock very, very quickly. Want to let you guys know over at instantgaming.com, as I am recording this video so things can change, the game is in stock, and guess what? You'll get it quite a bit cheaper. It's 17% off for $55.63 from your regular 60 plus tax price you would pay. $55.63, you get a Steam key, you don't pay tax, uh, it'll be delivered right to to you and you'll be good to go. They do have the deluxe edition on sale. I don't think the deluxe edition is necessary. It's just a bunch of in-game fluff. I would just get the base game, but yeah, 5563 on that. Go check it out. Uh, it's definitely going to be one of the best games or at least one of the best received games of the year. And speaking of which, we you know, uh, your opinion on a game is subjective, uh, if you want to like a game, you like it, uh, if you don't like a game, you don't like it, however, what is not subjective is pure sales metrics, and Black Myth Wukong has been an absolute juggernaut, we've covered the Steam Concurrent Player, uh, peak, as it is, it has achieved a peak of 2.4 million players, which is a staggering, staggering number, and now they have officially announced that the game has sold... 10 million copies across all platforms. That being PC and PlayStation 5, the Xbox version got delayed for whatever reason. I would imagine it's because the game cannot run on the Xbox Series S, but they never officially said... Black Myth Wukong has been an absolutely colossal, a juggernaut of a game release, and to me, even though this genre isn't always my cup of tea, the challenging action RPG, Souls-like, however you want to describe it, I know we're stretching the uh, definition of a Souls-like fairly thin, uh, but these super challenging games uh, with a lot of emphasis on the boss fights, not always my cup of tea. Uh, however, I can. that is my subjective opinion, and when I talk about video games, I like to assess a lot of it from an objective standpoint. Fundamentally assess all of the elements that Black Myth Wukong is bringing to the table, and I understand that if I put my shoes uh, in the foot, if I put my foot in the shoes, I should say, of somebody that is super into the genre, it represents... And then, from that standpoint, I disregard my own subjective uh, idea of not really enjoying the genre as much as a lot of other people. Look, I'm still really enjoying Black Myth Wukong, don't get me wrong, but these super challenging games just aren't necessarily up my alley when I get stuck on a boss because I stuck for two to three hours. That's not my favorite gaming experience. However, a lot of people love the trial and error, figuring out combos and patterns, everything like that. But when you assess what this game is doing, a brand new IP, I get it, it's Wukong, Chinese mythology, but you get the idea. Bring that in to a video game. It being a $60 game, it not being a microtransaction riddled nonsensical mess, it being a complete game right out the gate. This is everything that I want out of a video game. As far as elements uh, outside of just strictly the genre, the fundamental decision making of designing a game from the ground up, as far as when. Ubisoft is making a game from the ground up. They know that they're going to have microtransactions in there. I want what Black Myth Wukong is bringing to the table across all genres. In open world games, in first person shooters, in third person shooters, in, uh, in uh, action adventure games, so on and so forth. Black Myth Wukong is bringing forth all of those elements. I thought Stellar Blade did a great job of that earlier this year as well. And other games have as well. But I think the representation of that, to me makes me ecstatic that this game is doing as well as it is because it is doing the things that I think the gaming populace, the more hardcore gaming consumer, the people that would watch my content and watch YouTube videos about video games, they've wanted out of video games for so long. I get it. Y'all are chasing the gravy train. I get it, Sony. Y'all want Concord to be spicy as all hell, and you want people to be playing that game for years and years, but guess what? When Black Myth Wukong drops, and it's a game that's designed to be sold at $60, People buy it at $60, and they know going into it, I'm not going to play this game for years and years, but guess what? I'll play it for a month, I'll play it for a week even, I'll beat the game, and I'll have a satisfying experience. Great! I want more of that. Not everything needs to go this route of, oh, live service here, $110 gold edition here, early access, fake early access here, which they could have easily done with Black Myth Wukong. I get it that some of these things are just going to be things that I have to deal with in gaming going forward. In the case of Black Myth Wukong, it did not go down 
any of those routes as far as all of the things that so many modern games are doing. And for some modern games, live service is going to be great. For some modern games, microtransaction ridden, uh, you know, double XP boost built into the game via microtransactions, that's great. Uh, you know, you're going to make a lot of money on it. But guess what? Black Myth Wukong was able to forego all of that and still be incredibly successful. And credit to other developers like a From Software that has been able to do that as well. But just seeing Black Myth coming from a studio that wasn't well known like a from software um you know and then come out with a 60 dollars single player action rpg it being received the way that it is people just uh, you know just loving the game overwhelmingly positive reception and i get it there was a lot of controversy as far as the review guidelines as far as the political aspect of the game and i don't even like to go down that rabbit hole in this video i like to assess the game for what the game is i'm playing as a badass main character i got a lot of these cool bosses to fight uh the opening sequence of the game is stylish as all hell like it's everything that i want out of a video game in the sense of presentation visuals and sure, the genre might not be totally up my alley, but I think the larger representation of what Black Myth Wukong is offering, um, you know, I can appreciate it from that regard, and it still makes me ecstatic that this game is doing as well as it is. I hope I was able to kind of articulate my thoughts. I know I'm sometimes a little all over the place, but uh, I hope you're able to understand what I'm saying when I say that even though that this genre challenging action RPG, Souls, like whatever you want to call it. I feel like we're calling it a billion different things these days, but this style of game isn't always going to be uh, up my alley. However, I can separate my own subjective desire out of a game and what subjectively I really enjoy and understand that this genre, so many people love it and all of these elements that Black Myth Wukong is bringing at an accessory level, at a surrounding level on top of just the genre of the game, the ideas, the monetization, uh, what the game is offering right out the gate without DLC, uh, not having early access, like, it's just, it has a lot of the elements that I feel like isn't holding down modern gaming, it's just nuisances in modern gaming, and, uh, yeah, that's all I'm trying to get at, but that's gonna do it for me, incredibly happy to see the success of this game in Black Myth Wukong, discounted at Instant Gaming, we'll leave a link in the description box below, go check it out if you have yet to, if you're a fan of action RPGs and challenging ones at that, you're probably gonna really enjoy, that'll do it for me, your thoughts down below, as always, guys, thanks for watching, I will catch you guys in the next one, peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting, but as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.